I would love to be able to deliver answers to the officers that were involved. I'd love to be able to deliver answers to the family. Lockport Police, the Niagara County District Attorney, and the New York State Attorney General's Office are all investigating what happened Sunday night in the city of Lockport around 11.40 p.m. It started with a 911 call from an elderly mother on Park Avenue saying she needed help because her son had taken something and was out of control. She couldn't reason with them. He was incoherent. When Lockport Police arrived, they found 39-year-old Troy Hodge still acting strange. Not acting rationally, almost hallucinating. Things took a turn when Hodge told officers he was going into the home to get a shotgun. The officer closed distance and, and went hands on with him to prevent him from getting into the house and preventing an es escalation of something occurring. During the scuffle, three Lockport officers were injured with cuts, lacerations and a bite. Police succeeded in handcuffing the man. A knife was recovered along with drug paraphernalia and prescription drugs. After taking the gentleman into custody, um, he collapsed. An ambulance was fast to the scene as police suspected this may have been a drug overdose situation. Two of the officers that actually were involved in the initial incident jumped into the ambulance themselves and started helping with compressions and stuff. Troy Hodge was pronounced dead at Eastern Niagara Hospital. It's certainly not the outcome anyone had wanted. All four Lockport police officers who responded to the scene are now on administrative leave. To ensure that everything is done properly and by the book. City Police Chief Stephen Price said two of the Lockport officers and some Niagara County Sheriff deputies were wearing body cameras. Investigators are hoping it offers clues, but the chief cautions body cameras are not perfect. They break, they fall off, batteries die in them. Police are now waiting for the results of an autopsy done at the Erie County Medical Center and toxicology tests, which will help determine the cause of death. In Lockport, Ed Riley, 7 Eyewitness News.